So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the difference between these fabulous farm bags and our CSA farm boxes. So the difference is, is little sister, big brother. That's a good way to remember this. Also, it is with the, the farm boxes, this is a community supported agriculture program. They're called a CSA. So you actually have to become a shareholder of the farm, a member. So people sign up during the winter for a spring and summer CSA or during July for our fall early winter CSA, which is what you're looking at right now. And um, then, then they come bi-weekly and they pick up their share. So they get a, a share of everything that the farm grows, that we grow. And we are primarily a CSA farm. We're one of the top five CSAs in the state of Tennessee. We're really proud of that because we work really hard for that. But, so this you join and you are part of the farm. You own a share of this season's harvest. So that's what a CSA is. The farm bags, the farm bags, you don't have to sign up for the farm bags. The farm bags are great. This is great for a small family, um, a couple of vegetarians. This is a lot of food. The farm bags, we develop the farm bags primarily to be a easy pickup so it is great for a couple or a single person um, a vegetarian but they are a smaller share they don't have as much as as the the csas do but they're fabulous especially for people that are just a, a couple who want to eat fresh organic food the farm bags are great but let's let's look at what's all in these bags and in this share let's start with the farm box so you have some onions and these are bulb onions so um really sweet you have some mere lettuce. This is a bib lettuce, absolutely delicious. I have another little thing of onions. These are radishes, and what you have here is you have watermelon radishes, and then you have the Bravo daikon radish. Collard greens, we are southerners. You have some red Russian kale here. This is a winter-born kale. This is an amazing kale. This is great for kale chips and salads. You have herbs. So you have cilantro and then you have dill. Anybody thinking salmon tonight? A little tartar sauce? Be delicious. You also have broccoli in this share. You've got some beautiful fall carrots in this share. You've got mustard greens. These are the curly. These are southern curly variety. They're so delicious right now. They've had some frost on them, so they're nice and sweet. You also have, this is a braising mix. Now, a braising mix is really, I love braising mixes. They're super, super easy to do, stir fry or quick saute. But a braising mix is this mixture of all of these kind of Asian greens. So you've got bok choy and tot soy. You also have some mustards and some brilli mustards in here. So it's kind of got a little spiciness to it. It's absolutely delicious. Then you have a big old bag of beautiful spinach. It's been an incredible spinach year this year. And then this is a bag of loose leaf. This is a, a fall wildfire lettuce mix and it's a loose leaf lettuce, beautiful tender lettuces, super easy to navigate through. That is our farm box for this week. Then in this farm box, you also have some braising mix seasoning. This is ours from the farm. You can order these online. We put them in the box this week to introduce people to these. So you take a tablespoon of the braising mix seasoning when you're making these braising mix, throw it in there. Absolutely delicious. So that's in this pickup as well. So this is the CSA for this week of all of the things that are in the box. So yes, it is a lot of food. So now let's move to the farm bag. I love my farm bags. They're fab for like Mark and I really love the farm bags. They're just the right size. So in the farm bag, you're going to have a lot of the same kind of things. So you've got some mustard greens. 
You've got some red Russian kale. You've got some beautiful this little bib lettuce head here. You've got some of the daikon radishes, the Bravo radishes. You've got some carrots, a little bit of broccoli here. You've also got spinach, the braising mix, and the loose cut wildfire fall lettuce mix. So you have this is your farm bag, and then it all comes in this beautiful little all natural farm tote. $20. You pick them up. They're just easy breezy. So this is your the vegetables for your farm bag. This is all of the vegetables and herbs for your farm box. So you can see there's a big difference here. This is perfect for, like I said, a couple or one person. They're easy pickups. You don't have to join. You can thank all of the shareholders though that pick up this because this allows to be shared with the community. So these people are the ones who have invested in the farm and really supported having local organic small farms. And this allows us to help reach out to our community and allows us to do these farm bags. So now, let's get to washing. So now that we've unpacked our CSA farm box and farm bag, I wanted to show you guys, this is your sheet that you get with either the farm bag or the farm box. And what it does is it, it kind of gives you an update of what's kind of happening on the farm. And then it lists everything, all the contents that's in your farm box or your farm bag and all your herbs, if you've got flowers and kind of gives you an idea of what all of this is. You can go on Facebook or on our website. There's lots of recipes as well. So this is your shareholder sheet. So it's going to tell you what everything is and also all of these bags so that you have are all labeled the wonderful most wonderful thing about having these bags is they've already been double washed they've been spun dry they're ready to just go into the refrigerator that's all you have to do with those there's nothing else that you need to do until you're ready to um, to eat them and you can rinse them off, give them for a little spin in the salad spinner, but they're ready to go. They've been washed and ready. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to take care of my herbs. So I'm gonna fill this little glass up with water. Here, like this, move my sheet. Grab my snips and a little plastic bag here. And what I want to do is with this deal is I just want to take off a little bit of the bottoms here. So I'm going to snip off here. I'm just going to snip, I'll do it right here. I'm just going to snip off some bottoms. And what this is going to do is allow this deal to take up water again so it's not sealed. It's a love deal. Just going to put it in that water. Same thing goes with the cilantro. Just going to give it a little snip off these bottoms. Stick it in water. And then, oh, you can always write. You have your sheet. You can write what you've got here. So, dill and cilantro. And then, this is how I'm going to store my fresh herbs in the refrigerator. Just going to stick this plastic bag right over the top, just like that. I'm not going to seal it, I'm just going to stick it over the top. So now what's happening is my herbs are getting to take up water so they'll stay fresh. And also, they're in this bag, this little baggie, so it's going to kind of create this humid environment for them. So they'll stay fresh a lot longer. I'm just going to stick that in the top of my refrigerator and they're ready to go whenever I'm ready for them. So the next thing I'm going to do is do with all of these root crops. So let's move this out of the way, move this out of the way and deal with the root crops. 
I told him I was going to make a mess. I said. So, these root crops, you know, in the wintertime, they don't have their tops on them. We take the tops off of them. So all you need to do is give them a nice little chop. Get the rest of this tops off. Get a clean cut. The onions are fine. And they've been rinsed and washed. So they're actually just ready to go into a green bag. Just like this. Now if you don't want to put your onions in here, you can put these in a separate bag. You don't want to seal up the bag. You just kind of want to just fold it over and put it in your, your vegetable drawer. They're done. So when you're ready to use them, all you need to do is give them a nice little rinse, a little uh, hat dry, and those are ready to go. Broccoli, the same thing. You just put it in the refrigerator. The greens are a little different that are not. So lettuce, like this mirror lettuce, this needs a green bag. So I'm not gonna do anything besides just maybe just give it a nice little rinse here. Make sure that I shake off all of the, the moisture and then I'm just gonna put it in a green bag and sort this off like that. So when I get ready, to cut it up and make a salad, then I'll go ahead and rinse it and throw it in a salad spinner and it will be done. These are a little different. So these are my heavy greens. So they're gonna need to be washed. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and start a sink full of really cold water. The colder, the better. You can even throw ice, especially if anything just starts getting wilty or mess. You know, like collard greens, for instance, like to get limp on you really quick. So you can put a little ice in the water and throw these in there, let them get a good soak for a little bit, and they're better. And then that way. So I'm going to show you about stripping. So what I do when I'm going to go ahead and store these greens is I'm going to go ahead and strip the leaves. So I'm going to take the stem from the top and run my finger down just like this. And this it makes it easier for me to store these greens than if I had not done this. This allows me to store more, and you're not going to use these stems anyway. So, off of these. So that's all you need to do. Just go ahead and strip them down. Collard greens have a waxiness about them. Kind of during the you know cabbage kale, they all have kind of a waxy green, a waxiness about them, but they're easy to wash, easy to strip. So that's all I'm going to do. These can go into compost pile, compost bucket, and just throw them into the sink. And once I have them in the sink. I'm just making sure that we've already kind of washed them, but I'm just making sure that I'm getting all of the, any of the soot off of them, any, any of the soil that may be lingering. I'm going to salad spinner. I'm going to a handful of greens like this. I'll go ahead and give them a nice rinse. the lid back on. on. What's going to happen is this all of this liquid comes out of here. And now I'm just left with some nice dried greens. So they're going to go into one of my green bags.
And again, I'm not filling the bag. I'm just kind of folding it over and putting it into the refrigerator. Just like that. And the same water, I'm going to go for the kale next. This winterborn kale is really delicious. It makes amazing kale chips, but it also makes an amazing kale salad. So what I want to do is the same thing. I'm just taking the stem and stripping down. So easy, fast work for the winterborn kale. Same thing goes for all of these really tough stems like this. So see how it just slides right off? Just taking it from here and just sliding my finger down. It's much easier than going through and trying to cut all of the stems out of here. So that's what I have left. That's going to go in the compost pile. This is going to go into the sink and just get a nice toss. This cold water is already perking them up from just sitting on this counter. So now that I've got these beautiful winterborn kale coming out of this really cold water, again, just give it a rinse. Make sure we've shaken loose all of the, the stuff that might just be on the leaf. In. You're going to drain that water off. You'll see there's a lot of water that comes off these vegetables. And then I'm, I'm just left with this beautiful kale. Just nice dried kale. And it's so easy to do. So that is the ticket. Is salad spinner, nice cold water for these vegetables. And then you're just going to spin them. Done. I love that. Done. Don't forget to label. <laughs> now that the mustard greens have been soaking for a while, what I want to do is I want to kind of cut off some of these bigger stems. So I'm just going to kind of go in with the pruners, just kind of cut off some of this. make it easier for me to spin them dry. So with these, unless it's a really big leaf like this, I tend to just spin the whole thing. Paper towel. Take them out and let them air dry a little bit because of their bulk. It also gives me a chance to kind of go through and see if there's anything that I've missed that I don't want. really does is saves me a huge extra step that I don't have to deal with when I go to cook these. I don't have to kind of go through all of these. I've already done it so they've been stored clean. There's no bad places in them. There's nothing on them. So just it's a time saver and while I've already done it. So I've got my, uh, my mustard greens drying right now on a paper towel. We'll put those in a green bag. It's taken me a total of about 12 to 15 minutes to unpack everything, get everything washed and put up in green bags and put in my refrigerator and containers. So remember your sheet. You might want to keep that handy. This is the sheet that tells you what is in your farm box or your farm bag. So that's it. That's, that's how much time it's taken, and now this refrigerator is stocked with beautiful, clean, organic food. Your refrigerator is rocking. 
it looks fabulous and it's absolutely beautiful that's all I didn't really mess up the kitchen too much <laughs> I didn't I didn't destroy the kitchen too much but that's all it is so I hope that you have found this video educational so that's it for me I'm a uh, I'm gonna wipe down everything and get the heck out of here I got lots to do on the farm thank you